Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Oh, if you love rainy days, you are loving today. Probably doing backflips. Here's the thing, though. People say they love rainy days. Uh, it, people love days like today. I want to see you out there dancing in the rain. Well, Gene Kelly did. <laughs> he was out there dancing in the rain. And I guess there are some people out there. The trees, if they could dance, they would be dancing out there. A good drink of water, which they needed. You know, we had some rain yesterday, but most of it was before daybreak here in Evansville, and it was less than a tenth of an inch. So this is a solid soaking. We've already seen about six tenths of an inch at the Evansville Airport, and it's still coming down. So, uh, yeah, this is something we probably needed, and we're getting. And it could be helping out the color in these trees. We've already started to see a lot of color popping, especially just north of here. Here. I was up in Jasper yesterday. Notice the trees were popping pretty good up there. And now down in the Evansville area, I think we're going to see over the next week, week and a half, uh, some really good color. Thanks to this rain, it's going to help out. I think it's going to really enrich these trees enough uh, that they really start to strut their stuff. As we take a look at what's going on, at Deaconess Gateway, the wind's starting to pick up a little bit, and any kind of a wind. When you've got temperatures in the 40s and 50s, which is where we mostly are, and you've got any kind of wind to go along with that rain, it does not feel good to be outside. This is definitely, if you're gonna be working out, uh, indoor kind of a day. Uh, nobody, well, I know I'm, some people probably love uh, running in the rain. I know a lot of runners, at least they don't overheat in this stuff. Uh, Zemer Funeral Home downtown on top of Fifth Third Bank. Uh, it is looking gray, but now we see the raindrops on the lens of the Owensboro camera there at the Hampton Inn. Pretty cool shot to the east. And on November the 6th, Mark your calendars. That's when they're going to be lighting up the Blue Bridge. They've been working on that throughout the summer, and they're going to be able to use different lights. It should be a really cool effect. If you've been to Louisville, you've seen some of these bridges lit up, and it is really cool. I love that they've done that. I didn't necessarily love the fact that we're waiting in line to get across that Blue Bridge, but I love the fact that it's going to be coming. Anyway, we've got the traffic rolling right on the strip in Henderson there. That's Highway 41. And of course, that's our heads construction camera in the backyard. 53 degrees right now. The wind from the north northwest at five miles an hour. So not a big wind today, but enough to add a chill. Look how much chillier it is too to the northwest. Even though it has warmed up some, it's still 48 degrees in Fairfield. It's 50 in Karma. So on the back side of that front, which is pretty much bisecting the tri-state, you've got the cooler temperatures to the northwest. 65 degrees right now in Beaver Dam. You've almost got a 20 degree range temperature wise from northwest to southeast. So uh, these temperatures are going to stay fairly mild during the day today down to the south. And that's where we might be hearing a few rumbles of thunder. We've already heard that at times too and a few flashes of lightning. Hey, we're going to give a big shout out. You know, we haven't had a whole lot of rain uh, this October until today. And we certainly, you know, we didn't have a lot really late September either. But look at this bumper crop of tomatoes that Beth Jones still managed to grow even though we were lacking for rain, which means she had to be pretty persistent in watering those plants herself. And it really paid off. I mean, that's a lot in the way of tomatoes this late in the season. Good growing Beth. Here's a live first morning Doppler radar, and we are looking at the heavier rain down to the south. When we started the day before daybreak, we had the rain pretty much along and north of the river. Now it's transitioned more to the south, and it's a pretty solid channel of rain that is soaking western Kentucky right now. We've even got some heavier pockets just to the south of the western Kentucky Parkway. Continues to plow its way to the east and to the northeast. Heaviest rain early was again to the north, Check us out. Up north of Flora and Louisville uh, in Clay County, you got a little pocket here along Highway 45. Almost three inches of rain estimated by Doppler radar. Let's take a look at some areas, a couple of places in, uh, well, just right along the Wabash, and that is Mount Carmel, Pop, north side of town, better than two and a half inches of rain there. And right on the White River in Petersburg, you've got 1.3 estimated by Doppler radar there. Down to the south in western Kentucky, you've got to go pretty far to the south to get the heaviest rain we've seen so far in Kentucky, although most all of our area has gotten a good soaking. A little pocket there just to the southwest of Nortonville, nearly two inches of rain estimated by Doppler, 1.8. So at the airport, less than an inch, but in a lot of other areas, we've had more than an inch and it's still coming down. And look at this channel continuing on. There's plenty more where that came from as it continues to develop along that front. Got a little wave working its way through. Hey, but at least it's not snow, although a lot of you probably will want to see the snow. Uh, it is coming down at a pretty good clip, mixed in with a little bit of rain up there in Iowa, and they could be seeing some snow just outside of Chicago in northern Illinois. I think Chicago's going to stay just plain rain, what little they do see out there. But up the road in Rockford, they could catch a few flakes of snow out there today. Uh, future Tracker just showing some spotty showers uh, as we work our way into the mid-afternoon hours. 
early to mid-afternoon. But then we see the rain redeveloping, especially to the north. Now, we've got a pretty good channel of rain down to the south, but we're all going to be seeing a decent shot later on tonight. And as we work our way through the day on Tuesday, mainly in the morning, we're seeing some rain. And by the time we work our way into Tuesday afternoon, you can see that rain really starting to taper off and even some breaks in the clouds. And we're going to be seeing some sunshine tomorrow, too. Although our future tracker does crank up a little bit of rain on Tuesday night. Not really seeing that so much, but we could be seeing a little bit of rain then, too. But over the next two days, certainly some rain. Rainfall forecast, heftier totals will be down to the south. Here's my forecast for today, and it's going to be a wide range in temperatures. Mid-50s up to the northwest, mid-60s down to the southeast, and plenty of clouds out there for all of us. Showers, yes, mainly to the south. Uh, some thunder out there, too, and we could be seeing a little bit of small hail. Nothing severe is expected, though. 64 degrees for a high tomorrow. Uh, another chance for rain, mainly in the morning out and about. And then looking pretty good on Wednesday and Thursday with a good dose of sunshine as the clouds clear out a little bit bit midweek and look at the temperature soar 78 degrees Wednesday 82 degrees for a high on Thursday and then here we go temperatures dropping back down into the 60s on Saturday and Sunday so Angie a bit of a roller coaster ride is what we're gonna something have something for everyone I would think so pretty much <laughs> except for the snow hey this is pretty cool and the reason why it is, is DJ Baker this was taken over the weekend it's the fill pot sky and you're thinking all right that's pretty cool it's it's a sky at night well this was right around midnight and there was not a full moon this was taken with the iPhone 11. You know, I've not really? been a proponent of iPhones of late. This is with a night vision is what it has on its phone. Wow. So that's what they do. When you get these new phones, it's like they always have, it, the camera gets better. I think it's about the only change. That's pretty yeah. cool to see night vision like that when there's hardly any type of light. We'll be back.